Hello and welcome to my presentation about the BIOS 23 release. This is my agenda for today. I will start with the extraordinary performance gains we could achieve with BIOS 23. Next we will have a look at the breaking changes that come with BIOS 23. Afterwards we will have a look at some other enhancements. So let's start with the performance boosts that we have in BIOS 23. Here you see the backup speed measured in our lab environment. Dark blue is the performance of BIOS 22. Red, yellow, green, brown and light blue is the performance of BIOS 23 with the given numbers of workers. This graph shows the data of the graph before but as relative value compared to BIOS 22. With BIOS 22 being 100% it is visible that the performance reaches between 150% for no compression, LZO and LZ4 compression, and up to 400% for LZ4, HC and GZIP compression. When talking to the VMware API, Barreras 22 uses only a single thread with 128 sectors per call. In Barreras 23, now bigger values for sectors per call can be configured and the Barreras VADP dumper binary also uses multi-threading to process the data. For absolute values, you can see that the performance raises from about 45 megabytes per second up to 95 megabytes per second in our lab environment. This graph shows the data of the graph before, but again as relative value compared to BIOS 22. With BIOS 22 being 100%, it is visible that the performance in BIOS 23 reaches 200%. Areos now offers the XX hash 128 algorithm for file checksums, which is by magnitude faster than the algorithm supported before. It is now also possible to en enable kernel TLS. With kernel TLS, the TLS calculations can be offloaded to the kernel and special hardware if available. The storage daemon now works with 1 MB blocks and can automatically adapt to different block sizes. As already shown before, the file daemon can now do the backup data processing in multiple threads, which results in a high performance gain. Now let's have a look at the breaking changes introduced in BIOS 23. BIOS 23 disables connection downgrade to clear text communication for security reasons. When the default TLS PSK encryption was introduced in BIOS 18, a lot of legacy clients were in use. To make the transi transition to TLS PSK as smooth as possible, the client protocol was probed and a downgrade to the old clear text protocol was allowed. Today, BIOS 23 disabled the connection downgrade to clear text by default to make sure that the connection is always TLS secured. Clients older than 18, which do not support the BIOS TLS protocol introduced with version 18, will not be able to connect anymore. Please upgrade your clients to the newer version. Though it is possible to allow the clear text protocol, we strictly advise against it. The default catalog backup script was a Perl script before. This Perl script has been replaced with a shell script. In case that your configuration of the backup catalog job was altered manually, you might have to adapt the path to the new script. The following features were removed in BIOS 23. Python 2 is already unsupported from the Python Software Foundation since January 2000, uh, 2020. As newer operating systems also do not support Python 2 anymore, the Python 2 support in BIOS was also dropped. The Oval plugin has been removed in BIOS 23, as the plugin does not work reliably with Python 3 and the underlying technology Red Hat Virtualization is already announced to be discontinued. Users of the Overt plugin are requested to use a BIOS 22 file daemon. The support for 32-bit windows also has been removed in BIOS 23. The following directors have been removed after they ha have been already deprecated since BIOS 22. These are the PID directory, maximum connections and the compatible setting. The default values of the following directors have changed in BIOS 23. The TLS require setting was changed to yes, so that per default 
fall back to the old clear text communication is not possible anymore. The hard link settings in the file set include options has been set to no to avoid unexpected behavior when using the hard link support. The maximum block size was increased to gain more speed and the maximum concurrent job setting in devices was changed to 1. Installations using multiple jobs writing concurrently to a single disk device should consider to change the configuration to use a virtual disk changer with multiple devices instead. Now let's have a look at some other enhancements. The VMware plugin not only became much faster, it also gained new features. The changed block tracking code now also checks for deallocated blocks and skips them, resulting in a smaller amount of data being backed up. Virtual machines using multiple data stores now are also supported. Virtual machines using GPU path-through can also be backed up and restored, and we can restore to a different virtual machine name. The API used was updated to vSphere version 8. The PostgreSQL plugin was rewritten and enhanced to support PostgreSQL version 15 and newer, and the PostgreSQL non-exclusive backup mode. For more details, please check the documentation. The Python plugin base class was enhanced so that it is even easier to implement Python plugins. Plugins now can be implemented in one single file. Before, usually all plugins consisted of at least two files. The new base class now offers support for configuration files generically and it is both possible to override plugin option values with a configuration file value and also to override a configuration file value with a plugin option options value. Additionally, it is now possible to use encoded option values, which can avoid using clear text passwords in configuration files. As already mentioned, automatic downgrade to clear text communication now is for forbidden. Barreras now also offers to configure the TLS 1.3 ciphers, which was not possible before. A feature mostly for power users is the decode lstat function. Barreo stores the file stat information in one ASCII encoded string. The stat information for each file contains the file metadata like group, owner, size and more. Because of the way the data is stored in the database, it was not possible to access these values in a database query directly. Barreos 23 adds the PostgreSQL function decode lstat. It allows to directly access the values of the lstat field in SQL queries. The Barreos query file contains an example that can search for the largest file of a certain job ID. Thank you very much for listening. If you want to know more about Barreos, please check the documentation at docs.barreos.org. Check the mailing list at barreosusers at googlegroups.com. You can find the source code at github.com. You can get subscriptions, support, consulting services at barreos.com and you can directly reach me by email. Thank you very much and goodbye.